Welcome everybody to the course on Dynamics and Control. Uh, my name is Pedro Alberto from the Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain. And today we are going to finish uh, module 5, uh, Control Benefits, asking some questions for you to think about what we have seen in this module. In this module, as you remember, after the examples of uh, systems and signals, the models uh, and uh, the properties of control systems and how we can design control systems, we are emphasizing which are the benefits of the control. We saw that uh, in some cases the control is necessary, uh, that we can improve the performance and we have uh, many options in the future. So, <clears throat> Uh, this is what we saw in module 5. The control is sometimes necessary, uh, makes the operations easy, easier, uh, control improves uh, performance, control uh, achieves some savings and it open, opens uh, the field for research and development. So today the questions uh, we are going to face are uh, when control should be used and what can be improved by uh, using the control. So, let's go for the, to the first question. We need to implement uh, a control system if uh, the plant is unstable or uh, the plant model is not well known or the plant components are very expensive or there are unknown disturbances. So the question is which one is not a requirement? Please uh, think uh, about that. We will go for the correct answer. 